Hello friends, this is Fat Mike, and today I want to share with you the four most important things that I think every new player that starts out in Train Sim World 2 should know. So let's get started. The very first thing I think that is the most important is switching views on the train. I see a lot of guys in videos that will get out of this train or get out of this engine and run all the way to the back to do something. There's no need for that. Here's all you have to do. First, you hit control and then the minus key. I'm in the very rear of the train. I can hit control a minus again and I'm back in the front of the train. Or I can hit control equal and I will be on the locomotive that is trail to the current train I am sitting in. Now for this to work, you have to be sitting in the engineer seat. Sometimes you will be sitting in the engineer seat of the lead locomotive and you'll want to see the rear of the train, but it just keeps sending you to the trail locomotive that, to the one you're attached to. To fix this, all you'd have to do is hit three, go to your external view, hit three again, go to the rear of the train. Once you do that, it will allow you to switch cabs over to the back. Number two, sometimes I see on YouTube videos and stuff in the comments, people say, hey, how did you switch that switch without getting out of your train and going over and switching it? Well, this is easy. Hit nine on your keyboard above your letters. That will bring up a live interactive map. You'll see the switches. They're like this right here. Click it. You'll see the blue line move. You just change your switch. Now it has to be the nine above your keyboard. The nine on your number pad will not work. Number three. Oftentimes the mission will ask you to uncouple uh, cars from your from your consist and one way to do this is to get up and run out back and go do it but there's another way to do it you can hit three for your external view move back to the cars that it wants you to uncouple as such and just click it that's all there is to it Number four, the pause menu. This could be your biggest helper. You ever been running down the track and all of a sudden out of nowhere there's a speed limit drop that's only 500 meters from where, or 500 yards from where you're at? Well, in Train Sim World 2020, they did not have this feature, but if you'll just hit the escape key, it'll bring you up to your pause menu. You'll notice this graph up here. Well, this is the speed limits. It goes from 20 up to 45, it looks like, or 40, then right back down to 20, then back up. You'll see whether it's even worth slowing down for. Like here, you're running 40 miles an hour. It goes up to 45, but then it drops back down to 35. So you should just start slowing down, you know, because the gap between here and here is about two miles. Each one of these, this number here, zero, is where you're at. This is one mile, two mile, three mile, four mile, five mile. When you're coming up on a stop, there'll be a label here that under the perspective di distance to show you what you're coming up on. This is the grade that you are running. This can be a very helpful tool to keep you from getting all them speeding tickets. Well, that's it guys. I hope I really, really hope somebody has gained from this. Some of these things you might have already known. But I'm just saying, I wish I would have known from the get-go. Hey, this is Fat Mike. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Man, I really do appreciate it. I'm just an old guy trying to play some video games and have some fun. See you later.